Welcome to Ream Tech Tips. Ream New Zealand Limited does not in any way endorse the installation or maintenance of Ream products by an unlicensed practitioner. The work shown in this video is provided as a guide only. Full instruction manuals are available online from my Ream Pro. This time we're going to check and diagnose combustion fan faults on Ream Series 2 gas continuous flow water heaters. If there is a fan related fault when the unit detects water flow and tries to start, error code 61 will be displayed. This can be a fault with the fan itself or the PCB. The fan motor may have failed or is running at the wrong speed. The fan may not be providing the speed pulse signal to the PCB or the fan could be operating correctly but the PCB is at fault. Because there are multiple issues relating to this error the following tests will identify which component is the cause. The following electrical tests need to be carried out using a multimeter set to measure DC volts. We need to check the voltages at connector L on the PCB or from the plug and socket on the wiring loom to the fan which may give better access. With power on and water flowing measure the voltage between pin 3 black and pin 1 red on the PCB connector or between the red and black wires on the wiring loom plug. This reading should be between 5 and 50 volts DC. Now continue testing by measuring the voltage between pin 3 black and pin 4 orange on the PCB or the black and orange wires on the plug. This reading should be between 9 and 15 volts DC. If no voltage or incorrect voltages are measured on either of these tests, the PCB is at fault and should be replaced. If these measured voltages are correct but the fan is not spinning, the fan assembly is faulty and should be replaced. However, if the voltages are correct and the fan is spinning with error code 61 displayed, the PCB may not be getting the pulse signal back from the fan to say that it is running. Measure voltage between pin 3 black and pin 5 yellow on the PCB or the black and yellow on the plug. This voltage should be between 4 and 10 volts DC. If this reading is correct, the fan is providing the pulse signal and is not faulty. The PCB is faulty and should be replaced. If this pulse signal is not correct, the fan assembly isn't providing the pulse, so this is the faulty part which should be replaced meaning the PCB is still good. Thanks for watching and don't forget full product details, spare parts, installation and service manuals are all available through my Ream Pro. Also, our nationwide service center network can provide further product support if required. So just reach out to the team.